Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of AD&D's Pool of Radiance. We are doing an Iron Man run as usual. This time we're only using hammers and it's only fighters and clerics. It's quite a weird run. It's very challenging. But now that we have old person, that's going to make things drastically easier, at least for a while. Hey Bo, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We need to get a little more experience on Mr. Spock here. I'm doing great, Bo. Thanks for asking. It's a Saturday. Can't go wrong with that. We'll do some duels with Mr. Spock. He has low wisdom, so he does not have many spells. This is just RNG here. Who's going to get the hits? Computer does. <laughs> just like gambling. Five percent chance to hit. Yeah, five percent. And we lose. Oh, we can get a free hammer though. Try again. <laughs> One out of twenty <laughs> attacks in general. Lose again. We have to win twice to get enough experience. But after that, we're, we're going to go on to the next quest, I think. We're two experience points shy. You need 3,001. Oh, the computer. It's won three out of four times. So my time should be due, if it's truly random. Nope. It's not truly random. Hamatic, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? He says, I applaud Deforte for his timing. This stream is pretty watchable for us Europeans. Yeah, my wife is gone. She went on a vacation with a friend. So I can stream at unusual hours since it's uh, the weekend. Yeah, totally stacked against us here. Not random at all. They're giving the advantage to the computer. OK, 
get another hammer. All right. Finally, we can get Mr. Spock a level up. Three hit points, really? He rolled a one on an eight-sided die. This is definitely the worst party ever. <laughs> Don't have enough platinum. You enjoying your coffee at the moment and playing some Heroes of My Magic 3? Cool. Are you doing uh, Castle? I know that's your favorite. Let's go into the slums, do a bit more. Let's get some of these random encounters over. Oh, you're doing conflux, okay. Well, it's the strongest overall, as you know. Thanks to the phoenixes. Trying to build up to run around with only phoenixes. Ah, cool. Yeah, your speed would be ridiculous, your movement. give unique sprites. We'll do that after this battle. Oh, this one's held. Alright, so Jimmy has one. I don't think Sastam has one. Oh yeah, we can't see their profiles unless we get out of the dungeon. I just thought that was weird. Okay. So he's bare chest. Oh, I think we did do that one though. Yeah, we need to alter Jimmy's. Everybody's got a hammer. It's a two-handed hammer. Is there a one-handed hammer? They don't have a one-handed hammer icon. All right, this will be as close as we can get them.
Last times we already did. But we need to change the weapon. Chad. Chad Vic MC. Week two and already seeing two pyros for extra ones. If I can get those for week three, it'll be it will help. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that conflux is so strong. Okay. Dark hair. We already got the dark hair. And what does he look like? Okay, white hair. Tom says, did not see the other city castle on my domain yet so do not know what those are but did also see the helm on my train plus six all primaries guarded by rocks so that's interesting hmm. plus six wow Bo's also got white hair. He has a beard. Finally, Mr. Spock, bald with a beard. Well, male, male pattern baldness. All right, we're good to go now. distribute okay uh get these over with
Another one. Combat. Tom says, D4 Terror, Cobalt Slayer. How many did you put to rest? And all the runs you did must be countless. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how many. But you're right. Ridiculous amount. Party of Orcs. Ooh, we got some orc leaders. the hammers. surrendering just let them do it you still get experience and treasure there's our hammers We've killed quite a few random encounters, but I bet I have another five to go. rest in the slums but we have to clear it out the the set encounters
Hey Jeff, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Ultimate iron pump that muscle, swing the hammer. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. Such a bad strategy. Fight two fighters and four clerics. Clerics have terrible, terrible take over. It's hard for them to hit. My original plan was to use cause light wounds, but I had forgotten that you have to actually hit to do that. I thought that you didn't have to hit. So it, it relies on their terrible thinking. I'll quickly abandon that. Thanks for giving the shout out to Jeff, huh? And Jeff, remind us of the game you're playing again. Fantasia or something? I know it's two words. It's an RPG. Tales of Fantasia. Okay, thank you. Three words, ah. I'm so bad with names. It's a pretty cool RPG. JRPG. And Jeff too likes to play games blind. Which is cool, because not many people do that. He surrendered. Let's go consolidate our money. It's taking longer between encounters now. That's good news. Okay, cool. I'm going to go memorize my spells then. Actually, I can probably memorize them here. It's not going to be that risky. Finish clearing out these slums. All right, let's see here. Let's see how close the fighters are. Oh, actually, no, they need 4,000. Yeah, they need 4,000 for level three. Let's see, if I, I don't think I've done these rooms. No, okay, we'll start with these. We can get some magic treasure here. Seven cleric scroll. What's on it? Cure light wounds. Okay. It's always good to have those on scrolls because you can cast them instantly for combat.
Healthy looking goblin is instructing a group of young warriors. Success. Uh, I don't know if that is magical. Let's take the first two items and the last two. I think that leather armor might be magical. Search. Feeding Cobalt. Fresh coffee time, all right, huh? That is definitely treasure. Ooh, bracers. It's worth a lot of money. So how are we looking? 3,700 experience, not quite there. treasure up in this room maybe for this I'm gonna cast bless hobgoblins hobgoblins
you target less of the enemy the full person their chance to resist goes down a little bit Oh, there's more. Large number of valuables. There we go. A ring and a short bow. Well, again, I think this is money. The short bow sucks because we can't use it. But that's enough for our fighters to be level three. Which is a big deal because now we can sweep three of the little kobolds and goblins instead of just two. All right, let's go back and identify. Sell the junk. So this is the ring of protection. I'm going to go ahead and sell it now. The bracers I'll hang on to. We have enough money right now to not have to worry about it. Yeah, that is magic leather. Let's sell that. Okay. Let's hope they roll roll well. Fighters roll a ten sided die, so they can get one to ten hit points without the constitution bonus. Here we go. Moment of truth. Jimmy. He got 13. That's good. Saz Tam. Got 7 with 18 constitution. Come on, Saz. That's terrible. And the clerics need 6,000 experience, maybe? Or is it 5? Yeah, it's six. Six thousand and one. Rudely interrupted. Ah, there there are a few random encounters left. Hey Mr. Spock, welcome. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. Even at level three, we're still missing. Level three fighters are missing kobolds. It's embarrassing. I mean, we would have had a plus one weapon, but since we're using hammers, we're stuck with normal hammers right now. Just gonna make the Thaco terrible. Hey, Moody, welcome. How are you doing? You're back, Tom. Good to hear. Now you're waiting for Moody's puns, yeah. And thanks for giving Moody the shout out, Tom. I'm assuming you did it. Mr. Spock can a shout out too now.
Yeah, the clerics have to get to level four before their Thaco drops by one. That's terrible. That's terrible. And it does it drop by one or two? I think they I think they drop it by two. So at least it'll be a little better by the time they get it, but it's still so bad. 8.1 out of 10. Glad to hear that, Moody. Strolling them one by one. Tom says, yeah, they are. Man, these random encounters, come on. Super annoying. You want to see D Forte put some more goblins to rest, Tom? I want the random encounters to be put to rest. <laughs> They're such garbage. It's like a waste of our time. We've got to be getting close. People are so aggressive these days, Han says. <laughs> Still got some random encounters. Sleep makes it a lot faster, but we don't have a mage, so... Gotta use ye old, old person. We won't have the ever-powerful stinking cloud, either. Is that all? Is that all the random? Nope. Way too many. Way too many.
Mr. Spock says, have you ever tried an only magic items run? As in no memorized or character spells? Yes, I've done a no caster run on Iron Man. Yep. It was successful. It wasn't easy though, let me tell you. The hardest run though that I couldn't complete successfully was all thieves, just straight thieves. That was a failure. Having just one fighter mixed in with the thieves makes a big difference. Or one caster. But all thieves, it was just absolutely terrible. Tom says, sounds like my no spellbook run. You mean in uh, Heroes of My Magic or talking about? Cool of Radiance. Any game which allows magic. Yeah, the trick is Iron Man. There's so such a difference between Iron Man runs and Safe Scum. With Safe Scum, you can beat pretty much any game with any combo. It's just how many times you reload. But Iron Man, that's that's what makes the challenge is extremely hard. surrender okay have we worn them out yet or do we still have more random encounters let's see how long it takes to memorize all these five and a half hours wow Ooh, this is looking promising we rested four days. I've had that before though. And it and then all of a sudden you get an encounter. Mr. Spock says it might be a challenge to find a way to create limitations so difficult it can't even be beat with saves coming. Oh well. Maybe a never level up run. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there are ways to make it impossible. True, true. I think there's treasure down here. Let me check this first. Maybe I'm thinking of a note. I think there's a note that tells you that there's treasure in the northeast corner. like that. Um, we will pay. Tells her fortune. Violence and writ boldly written. Believe. Now this is a tough fight in this room here. From what I remember. So let's get a bless. How dare you break into our home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Actually, it's not that much harder than what I've been fighting randomly. <laughs> oh, 
Mr. Spock lost his spell. He only had one, and he lost it. <laughs> a wall around us. Now we can throw hammers at all these guys. There's one more over here. Surrenders. Hey, look at that. We got a magic hammer. Oh, no, that's the hammer we threw. Darn it. I saw a hammer, but that's the one we threw. This flail is magical, but we're not using it in this room. Uh, the chain mail. Oh, there's a broadsword, too. Oh, there's a bunch of rod swords. Okay. Well, we'll pick up this stuff. Besides the flail, I'm not sure if any of that's magical. Not having that Thaco bonus, because we're just using hammers, is rough. You will find magic hammers eventually, but they're not super common either. Some of them are random. I guess we can get them. If I find one, we can do a bunch of duels to get more. Because Rolf will throw them, and then you get to pick them up afterwards. Okay, how are we doing? 4,900. Still quite a ways away. Guess we'll go ahead and do the treasure room down here. You have alerted the guards. Mr. Spock says when you find something you threw away, bust, still get excited. <laughs> Need to hold all these.
can't believe we still are missing goblins. Sixty-five. Nothing magical. The next room sure has it though. Find a loose floorboard. Three hundred and eighty-three. Come on, be a good item. A shield. Hey, we can use a shield. Hey, Zachary, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I assume the hammer time reference have been made by now. Yeah. Yes. There's a lot. We actually even have someone with MC right there, Chad Vic MC. In fact, let's give him that shield. Plus one. Okay, plus one shield, nice. And we need about 600 experience before our next level up in the clerics. I think either this fight or the the next fight's the really difficult one. Since we're just using hammers, especially. Mr. Spock says we need a hammer time emote for the chat now. Yeah, we do. Who's got bless? There it is. Yeah, this is the hard fight right here. A lot of work. Those ones in the back are the problem ones. These guys have arrows. Can't reach him with our hammers. We'll just have to take the hits. Mr. Spock says, I don't think you'll have a problem. It will just be tedious. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. We don't have any mages. So our armor class is pretty good. The, the biggest concern is when you have mages. Those ones in the back shooting arrows at them. keyboard locked up um, well that's weird is it a USB keyboard or is it a laptop or none of
of the above. There was one shot. USB, okay. At least USB you can unplug and replug, Mr. Spark says. Yeah. Close your stream your Steam page now works again. Hmm. See if we can reach now. Yes, we can reach the orc leaders. There's the surrenders. It resolved by itself, good. Our hammers. A lot of old persons. This is the fight, I think, with the ogre, which is much easier than the fight we just did. Monster leaders. I don't think whole person works on these.
Hammers do such low damage against large creatures. Normally weapons do a lot more. Not the hammers. Even an ogre is a challenge to take down this party. <laughs> They're normally super easy. That's anticlimactic at best. You don't even get any treasure for killing the leaders. So we've cleared everything in this except for the trolls, and there's zero chance we could kill the trolls. Uh, we could run from the trolls. I've done that before. If you just leave and run the off the battlefield, it's considered a win. I feel like you get the items, but you get zero experience. There's something weird that happens. Mr. Spock says they clearly got promoted from nepotism and not skill. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to do Norris the Greys area. Well, let's go consolidate a bit. I've noticed something weird. Sometimes Hammer shows up on this first screen. And sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to see if I can figure that out. Sometimes when you go in here, it shows hammer on the first page, like an item's missing. That's the magic flow. Oh, it is magic chain mail. Nice. Okay, let's give that to Jimmy. So he can have more movement. Why did I do that? Longbow's not magical. Okay. Let's try this again. Use turn hammer. 
It's the only shop I go into. It doesn't depend on who it is, is it? No. Nope. Let's change the time, see if that has anything to do with it. No? I don't know, weird. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I could swear I saw that. I took a screenshot of what was in there in case I see it again, then I can compare. Okay, Norris the Gray, here we come. Cobalt, we gotta fight the Cobalts. Thanks, Mr. Spock. I think we have to do one more, if I remember right. Yep. It's a double wave. Okay, well, we're not going to go down, though. We need to get our old spells back. I wonder if fine traps would prevent arrows that we're going to get pelted with. Assuming no, it's not really a trap. Secret door has been left ajar. So here's the arrows. Nobody got hit. So this is the fight right here. So let's get a bless. This is going to be rough. A lot of lizard men. Norris the Space Space Gray. I always say that. There's two spaces right before his name. <laughs> right before Gray. We're going to fight. We're not surrendering. No surrender. Chadwick lost his spell. Norris the Gray now.
Jimmy sweeps. Moonhead says damn sweeps. the gray goes down. There's our hammer we threw. Find a curious message. Okay, now we can rest safely. Let's get our spells back. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, that guy needs to visit a dentist. Indeed. Now we'll get the treasure, which will be way more experience. Should be up here. Yes, we take it. 867. I'm not going to worry about the silver. All right. I think we'll also get a reward from Flan itself. enough experience for the clerics. This is the first time I've actually stepped in this city hall. Eliminating Norris the Grey. Here's your reward. Oh, it counted as clearing the slums even though we didn't kill the trolls. Weird. So we're given the Podal Plaza quest too now. That one's, that's an easy one. And yes, we are ready for level four on the clerics. Fighters are actually, hold on, I think they're pretty close to level four as well. Yeah, they need 8,000. It's a few duels, I can get that. City bulldozers can take care of the trolls. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we are going to be missing items, though. If those got removed, we, we won't get the items, which sucks. So we'll have to go check once we're stronger. Here we go, Chadwick. Six hit points. Tim. Seven hit points. Bo. Four hit points. Really, Bo? And you have 18 constitution. Bo has 18 constitution. He's level four with 22 hit points. What a scrub. We're going to have to rename him to scrub. Mr. Spock only got four. Scrub number one. Scrub number two. Use this. Mr. Spock says, Oh bummer. Hope they're still hanging around. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't think I've ever seen that where it said it cleared and I hadn't fought them. OK, 
Okay, so we get another first level spell. We get detect magic. Cure hold. <laughs> Let's go do the polo plaza one, that should be enough for the fighters. The skies. See a group of orcs. They glare at your party and demand, who are you? Let's be, do I be abusive or sly? Sly. Oh, you're here for the boss. Okay, good. Get your party and walk on. Here we go. Here's the auction. Listen to comments. It's a wand of illumination. Who cares? I can see in the dark anyway. Bidding escalates to 5,000 gold pieces. Wait for winner. Man and ogre exchange the wand and a large bag then disappear into the crowd. You spot a group of goblins. They glare at your party and laugh to themselves and walk on. That's pretty funny. Sly. They're like, ah, what kind of disguises are those? Mission accomplished. Welcome back, Tim. How are you doing? Let's see what our reward is. 208. Eh. That's not enough. Cordorna. We'll go ahead and get his quest. That's where we can get Gauntlet's Ogre Power. Extremely good. Probably sneak and get that one done next. But let's get a level up. Uh, I'm going to do a few duels on the two fighters. Just gonna do quick here. Okay, he needs one more duel. Jimmy's ready. Now we just need Lemonhead ST to do two. Yes, we do wish to duel. Let's roll. 
health goes down. Always good to see our friend Rolf that comes as. <laughs> The tour guide. Uh, we lost that one. Okay, now we have enough to level up here. Jimmy got seven hit points. Says Tam got nine. Yeah. Okay. He is so helpful during this game, Mom says. He gives a tour and you can duel him. Tim's on a three stream watch streak. Nice. Okay. So I think we'll go for the Gauntlet's Ogre Power now. That's a very, very scary... Oh wait, there's Lizard Men. Hold on, there's Lizard Men we can go after right now. Um, we'll get that treasure first over here. Giant lizards with with hammers. Such low damage with hammers against large creatures. I think it's two to five, just like the small creatures. Normally, it goes and increases as you hit a bigger creature. I think back to Corbin's the other example where it actually goes down when you hit a larger creature, which makes zero sense. What was going through Gary Gygax's mind? Mr. Spock says, always a good time when you can beat up the tour guy. <laughs> Is there another fight in here, or is this just that old hag? I think it's just the old hag. Tim says, would have much more watch streaks, but work kind of gets in the way. That's kind of a good thing, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Beneath the rug, you find a compartment. Arms and armor. Yes, come on, please be a hammer. Please be a hammer. No! At least we got plus one banded mail. All right, let me look again. So they need. I have, I think, 10,000 for level 5. Let me look. Oh, they need 13,000 and 1 to get to level 5, the clerics. 
Fighters need 18,000. So we're a long way away. Alright guys, I'm going to take a short break here. I'll be back in about five, five minutes or so. You could do a gold box weapon damage mod. Yeah, really. Really does need to be modded.
Okay, everyone, I am back. Let's see, where are we at? I think we're just... Let's go identify the random mail, just so I don't accidentally get rid of it at some point. Ah, thank you, Hom and Bo. Yeah, we'll go to the one area to try to get all its ogre power. That'll be a big boost. Core stuff we can't use. We'll hang on to this. Class four. Let me see something. Yeah, so this is the equivalent of regular banded mail. So let's give this to Tim. That'll give him a movement bonus. Sweet. I think that's all I had to identify. Now, let me double check. I don't think they have silver hammers. This is not the silver shop, is it? No. I think it's here. Yeah. Silver mace, but not a silver hammer. So we won't be able to injure whites or ghouls. Spiritual hammer spell can injure him. But besides that, we can't injure him. So that'll be a problem if we run into ghouls. Or not, not ghouls, uh, whites. I think we can hurt ghouls. We just can't hurt whites. I think I'm going to, just in case we run into those so I can actually kill them, we're going to have to buy a silver mace. Because I don't even have spells that can hurt them. Because where we're going, it is possible to run across whites. Here's where we want to go. This is the fight. You see the chief of the hobgoblins, a huge ogre, as you enter. He rises to his full ten feet height, his head wreathed in the flickering shadows. Human creatures, he bellows. I allowed you to toy with my minions, but now I'll crush the life from your limbs. Okay.
Bo says, allowed us to toy with minions, proceeds to send more minions. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty dumb, isn't it? start taking down the guys that are held. So that that doesn't wear off. Ogre down. That's magical. Find an iron box. So this we are definitely open opening. Twenty two hundred. Ring jeweled statue. The gauntlet's ogre power. That's what we want. So let's see. The Chad is in strength of seventeen. We're gonna give it to him. His Thaco is now 15, 1d4 plus 7. And he can carry a lot more weight. Sweet. Okay. Let's do some healing and then get out of here. Perfect. Evil looking frogs boil up from below. Oh, yuck. These can poison us. Okay. 
good. No poison for us. At least I didn't have to fight a white. So 10,000 experience. What did we need again for level 5? 13,000? Yeah. And 18,000 on the fighters. Here's we get one bless. It might be time to do Sokol Keep. Because that opens up a lot of areas for us. I think if we go here, we don't get a reward. I think Adorna gets ticked that we opened his family heirloom. Confronts you. You have taken my family treasure. I don't forget such things. We'll see what the clerk says, Sasha. Yeah. So we'll keep. Hey, Sever, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Tom says, do you dare Sokol already then? Yes, that's the next thing we're going to do. Because getting the maps and tomes, I mean, we can do that. But the problem is when we leave, we have to fight a specter. We have no way of hitting that specter. And we'd get level drained. So I just can't do that quest, unfortunately. I think I think if we killed the basilisk we can leave so I might actually do that real quick first um, let's go get some mirrors as long as we don't take any tomes I don't think the specter gets mad this is not the right place all right Everyone gets a mirror. Let's go do that real quick. You are surprised by kobolds. How can we get surprised by this gigantic army of kobolds? That's what I want to know. There's three more. Where 
early game. waste our time. I don't think I cast anything. Nope. All right, everybody equip Silver Mirror. Silver mirror, silver mirror. Okay, so now we'll be able to kill the basilisk ASAP. I guess I'll do a bless just in case he doesn't get killed by his own petrification. Basilisk. <laughs> Killed by his own gaze. Yeah, this I think we can take legitimately without picking off the spirits. And that'll give minus two armor class on Jimmy. Okay, that's all we're going to do, and we're going to leave. Perfect. We can put back on shields. Now we can do solo keep. Eleven thousand, yeah, we're too far to get another level up. You board a boat. Parlay. Sly. Yes, I did it right for once on the first time. We gotta fight these frogs again. Specters over here. 
Parley, nice. What do you say, Lux? And they tell us their story. Find some gems. Yes. All right. Now we got the big battle, guys. The big battle. Ooh, I need to memorize less. Here we go. Wish me luck. Thanks, Tim. Who are the leaders? Yeah, I can hit a few of them. Six, seven. Come on, Chad, what get your spell? No.
really? Kill me some of these. Actually, move up here. Probably start surrendering soon.
Take down that orc leader. There's the surrenders. Success. Oh, that's magical. Yeah, that, that frees up a lot of area now. I gotta talk to this guy. Parlay, nice. We're going to say Lux. Ran Martinez. We're going to tell the truth. Tyranthrexus. So now we have to say Samosud. We're going to be Sly. Ammo said. Success. And we'll get a reward from Flan too. Okay, with Sokol Keep in our hands, we can use boats to bypass the Barren River. Here's your reward. 1,300 experience. Nice. Yeah, that opens up the ability to do part of the graveyard, the Thieves Covell Mansion. Oh, here we go. The graveyard quest. Yes, accept. We're accepting this just to get the sword and get experience. We're not going to use it. But we get experience. Summoned by the Bishop of Brachio of Tear. Report to him at the Tur's Temper Temple. Okay, nice. We got lots of quests now. Yeah, that is a good quest, Tim. Let's look at our experience. 14,000. So we're close to level up. So gold banded wand sell 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 it's useless the sword I want to sell too we have so much money right now though I don't know what's heavier the sword or the platinum probably this probably the platinum so we'll hang on to this Let's give it oh actually Chad's the 1800 strength he'll hold on to it ok 
Okay, anything else? Nope. So we'll probably do, um, there's one place we can go in the graveyard right away to get a ton of experience. So I'll probably do that. might even be enough to get I think it will be enough to get the fighters leveled up too okay so we're gonna go to the bay gotta go north And then we're going to go to Graveyard. Oh, I don't really want to flee. I think, I think I'm by the Juju Zombies. Oh no, flee. Lee. Okay, yeah, we're by the exit again. Yeah, I don't like fleeing because you lose the area view. And who knows where it puts you. I, I'm just going to kill him. Burn. Set up DOS box. Let him get away. Ah, oh, some of them are going to be in the corner. I hate when they do that. Dumb AI. Waste our time. that dumb encounter out of the way so there'll be another one and then we got the giant skeleton fight news is with this hammer run we do full damage to skeletons go ahead and flee okay now this fight we're going to do a bless Okay, they've all 
help them turn except the giant. I'm all getting bottlenecked there. Giant skeletons down. If we were a little bit higher level, we probably could have just destroyed them instead of turn. All right, we'll slow down DOS box now. Short bone. Here's the treasure. Marble chest. Yeah, 5,095 experience. Cleric scrolls. More restoration. So that is enough for the fighters to be leveled up. Perfect. We're going to go to the city. We're gonna take the boat. this now. Here we go, level 5 clerics. He got 6 hit points, Chad. Tim got 7, nice. Bo, 6. Mr. Spock, 4. Mr. Spock. Okay, Jimmy, let's see what you get. Jimmy got 10. Saz got 14. Nice. He needed to make up for his terrible level up last time. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Okay. Now we get third level spells. That is really nice. Spell magic or prayer. I think we'll get one prayer and the rest will be dispel magic. Mr. Spock, you'll get prayer. Ooh, we get two, so we'll get a Dispel Magic and a Prayer, because we've got higher Wisdom. Plus... Chad also gets two. Nice. So far, so good. I think this is a good place to stop for a night. Great progress. All right, let's see if there's someone we can raid, guys, if you're into that. People that I follow, let's see. Uh, let's send you over to DC. What is he playing here? I don't know what that is. 
Actually, let's, yeah, we'll send you DC. Looks like some kind of wind jammers, too. Okay, don't know what that is. If the raid happens, it's acting kind of weird. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.